For by you I can run against a troop. By my God I can leap over a wall. As for God, his way is perfect. The word of the Lord is proven. He has a shield to all who trust in him. No, God is our shield. We trust in him. We can jump. We can leap. We can run towards those people that we fear. We can run towards it. Why? Because of who God is. God is our protector. God is a guy. We should not fear man. You know, when we want to do things, the things of God, don't fear anybody. Don't fear. No, like I'm even, even speaking to the young people, don't fear. If you want to share about God on, so, on your social media platform, on TikTok, whatever, do it. Don't be afraid. You're going to have people that will. No, that's a part of life. No, it's a part of life. You're going to have people that won't agree with you. You have to learn how to take disagreements. You know, but, but if, while they agree or disagree with you, continue to do God's work. No, continue, never, never fear doing God's work. Now, I've written down here, it says, the Lord will be our light in the dark in the dark times. We don't have to fear. He will protect us. He will protect us. We can run towards the things we fear. No, that's when we fear. Run towards it. Run towards it. Nothing you fear. Run towards it. Don't, fear. don't run away from it. Now there is something that we that we run we we, we run away from the things of the world and sin and all that. We run away from that. You know, we run, run away from the pubs, we run away from like when our friends are enticing us with, with drink or cigarettes or drugs or whatever. We, we run from run from sin. Like uh, like we're reading like we're reading about uh, Joseph in the in the Old Testament there. He ran from sin. He ran from it. No, when Potiphar's wife came to him to sleep with him, he ran. No, protect your protect your identity. No, protect who God has created you to be. God hasn't created you. My dad used to say, if God wants you to wanted you to smoke, he would have stuck a chimney on top of your head. You know, men and women, humans were not created to smoke. God has not created that. That is of the enemy. He hasn't created us to drink. Our joy is in the Lord. Our joy is not in alcohol. Our joy is not in, in cigarettes and drugs. Right? That's not where we find. That joy will only last for a season. If you look at people that drink, no, it will last for 12 hours. You wake up in the morning, then you're looking for your, for your next fix, your, your next drink, your next whatever. No, that, that, that's not where joy is. Amen. You know, and um, since we, when we know we are, we are the ones in the life, and standing for the truth, we do not have to fear. So when we stand for the truth and we're in the light, we don't have to fear. So when we're doing what is right, we don't have fear. Yes, if you're doing stuff that is wrong, yes, you know, like if you're breaking the law, you know, you fear the guards if you're breaking the law. No, but when you keep the law, you don't fear the guards, you know. So that's why it's important to stay in the, stay in the light, you know, and you know, and fear, fear causes confusion. One of the things fear causes is confusion, it brings in the spirit of confusion. Because fear causes a lot of things, you know, it causes a lot of things. Okay, and I've written down here, what, what fear causes? Fear where power paralyzes in place where we cannot move. So that's one of the things what fear does. It puts us in a place where we are, where we are scared to move. You know, and sometimes, God bless them. Sometimes our families can do that to us. Our family members can do that to us. No, they say, oh, you can't do this, you can't do that. So you don't do it because your family members told you to go to, you can't do it. You know, which, like, sometimes if God tells us to do something, do it. You know, like, one thing, like, as, as I always say, one thing, like, I, I found hard to do was what I'm doing now. So speaking in public. Even when I went to like uh, this, the thing I was doing, um, what to call it, the study, I was in business studies. And when I had to give a presentation, I like there was fear there, you know I me, mean? but I did it anyways. But, but one of the things that taught me was God bless her, was mommy, you know, and how she sucked me off was, you know, Monday night prayers. That's where she sucked me off. She says, son, just do 20 minutes. 
I said, Mom, I can't do an hour, I can't do an hour. She says, okay, do 20 minutes and then get me the mic. So when she came up with 20 minutes, my first time, you know, and, and how did the fear break? By stepping out. You know, I faced the fear. You know, step out, just do it. And don't worry about what people think. Once you're doing the things of God, you don't have to worry about what people think. Thanks, amen. Don't allow fear to lock you in place. You no, know, the second thing that fear causes, fear locks our tongue from speaking. You know, fear stops us from speaking. You know, we say it's like, uh, like we sometimes do, we do things here in the church and we ask people to come up and like give testimony or like whatever people say, no, 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 because of fear. You know, fear is the number one thing that stops us from speaking. You know, share what God has done in our life. We, like we know that God has done something good because, because of that fear, we don't want to step out. Amen. You know, and that, that could be another thing it's in public speaking. You know, share God's word in public. Fear can stop us. You know, fear can stop us. I'm sharing on these things because these are things that the devil tries to use in me. So I'm just sharing what, what I go through. Amen. I'm not sharing out of a stupidity. I'm sharing out of knowledge, you know, amen. No. And then the third thing is fear causes us to do wrong things because we want to feel accepted by others. You know, that peer is called peer pressure. Now, because we want to feel accepted by our friends, we do things we, we know that we don't want to do, but we're only doing it because we want to be accepted by others. No, and that's fear. Fear stops us from doing what we want to do. We want to follow the crowd. Don't allow fear to make you follow the crowd. Like, be the one to step out from amongst the crowd. Be the, be the difference. No, be the difference. Like, stand up. If you want to stand up for God, if you want to do what is right, do it. Then if you lose friends along the way, you lose friends along the way. They weren't your friends. You know, those friends that you will lose because you stand up for what is right, they're not your friends. Because if they were your friends, they would have your back at the end of the day. You know, like I, I always say that my only friends that I have are in the church. So I don't have anybody, else. nobody comes into my house at home and home alone. The only one actually that comes into my house is no, and my brother, and that's it. I don't allow anybody into my house. No women come into my house. I don't allow any women near my door. If you want to talk, like one day mommy called me for like a woman that wanted to take again uh, forward the Nigerian flag. I told mommy to have her meet me up at the church. I don't allow women near my house. You know, you protect yourself. Protect because people talk. You can't be innocent. A man could walk into your house and you can be totally innocent and now all of a sudden rumors have spread. You know? You could I like a man could bring a woman to the house and nothing has happened. And because of the position you hold, rumors spread. That's why I, I don't allow anybody into my house. You know, if anyone like there's no one knows, he's the only one, and Amen is the only one. No, I protect myself. So I protect myself from, from, from people, you know, and it's not because of fear, it's, it's the knowledge. The Bible says people perish because of the lack of knowledge. You know, lack, lack of knowledge, we do stuff, stuff that's not good. Amen. You know, so don't allow fear to, to cause you to do the wrong thing. So you know you don't want to do it, but you ain't doing it because of your friends. Don't do it. You know, stand out. The fourth thing is fear causes us to be insecure. We don't have our own identity because we are living to please the wrong people. You know, insecurities. Fear brings and in, causes insecurities. We try to be like everybody else, and we even forgot like who we are because we're trying to be like everybody else. We forgot who God has created us to be because we're trying to follow everybody else's identity. You know, we're trying to do, we're trying to do, or uh, we're just trying to, what you call it, say things that, like about ourselves that are not true. No, just because of others, you know, and it, it causes, fear causes insecurities. And then, and the next one is fear stops us from sharing the love of God, no, which is the important one, you know, it stops us from sharing God's love. And the next one, fear stops us from preaching. 
You know, there's many, there's many of us that has a calling upon our lives to preach the word of God, but because of fear, we don't do it. You know, because of fear, we don't do it. We want to, like as it says, we want to please people. Don't please people. When it comes to the word of God, and God tells you to say something, don't be scared. If God gives you a word of knowledge to somebody, you know, share it. Don't fear sharing it. You know, as long as you know it's from God and it's done out of love. You know, we don't attack people, you know, in anger. We attack people in love. Oh, yes, there is godly anger where you have to, you know, have that boldness and say no. It's like on Friday night, you know, there's what was used Friday night was godly anger. Godly anger, sick of what's happening in this country. No, and we're not standing for it. We're fed up with what's happened in this country, gay marriage and you know, homosexuality and all that. We're not putting up with that. Not putting up with that in this country. You know, it's male, female, that's it. You know, it's not a hundred genders. Enough is enough. You know, that's not the word. It's not in the Bible. And oh, you have to do the truth. No, we don't please sin. We don't please sin. Amen. Okay, what should what should we fear? And Pastor Marie, Pastor Marie said this this morning already. Says um, we fear God, which is reverence. We reverence God. We have respect for God. And because of time, um, I just read Psalms chapter six. Uh, sorry, Psalms one eleven verse ten, one hundred eleven verse ten. And the other two chapters is Psalms thirty six one to four. And Matthew 10 to 28, but because of time, I just read Psalms 11 10. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom, a good understanding. Have all those who do these commandments, these prayers endures forever. Amen. Fear the Lord, because it's the beginning of wisdom. Like, have reverence. It's not saying, oh, I fear God. No, it's have reverence. You respect God. Amen. Am I written down here? You see, when we fear God more than we fear man, we don't care what man thinks. Because now we only care what God thinks. What God thinks of us because it is him we live for, not man. We live for God. Don't fear man. And three, three points at the end is how do we cast off fear? And first John 14 and 8. Sorry, first John 4 and 8. I read that one. First John 4 and 8. I read in these the last three chapters in the first John 4, 18. Sorry. There is no fear in love, but perfect love casts out fear, because fear involves torment. But he who fears has not been made perfect in love. You know, first thing it can is perfect love. You know, perfect love. You know. That's even loving the person you don't want to love. You know, like these people that are trying to like um, say things that are not of God. We love them, but we hate the sin. It's the sin that it's what they're doing, we hate, but we love them. You know, it's perfect love, you know, perfect love for God and perfect love for man and woman, you know. And the second the second thing is second Corinthians 1 24 says not that we have dominion over your faith but our fellow workers for your joy by for for your joy for by faith you stand amen faith over fear you know instead of fear trust god like have faith in god that god would carry carry us through everything now he would carry us through everything you know so um, faith is what makes us overcome fear, casts us off fear. And the last one is um, Ephesians, I go, sorry, 1 John 4, 17. And the next one was Ephesians 3, 11 to 12. But let's read 1 John 4, 13. Sorry, 17, I keep missing, sorry. Love has been perfect among us in this, that we may have boldness, in the day of judgment, because as he is, so are we in this world. Amen. You know, is and the last one is by finding our boldness through God. You no know, boldness makes us overcome fear. 
you know, knowing yourself that like something that you fear and you actually eventually step out doing it. You know, you have no problem doing it the next time because you've stepped out doing it. So like use those boldness. So what makes us to cast off fear is perfect love, faith over fear, and finding that boldness through God. Amen. Be bold. You know, doesn't mean I'll go, go around causing trouble. But what it means is like stand up for what is right. Like stand up for the word of God. Don't stand up for the wrong things. So some people, some Christians, they use a boldness in the wrong things. But they stand up for what the world stands up for. No, stand up for what God stands up for. Amen. Stand up for what God stands up for. Amen. Amen. And amen. So um, in closing, I'm just going to pray real quick that God would give us, uh, God will, that we will cast off fear. So we cast off fear and take on boldness. Amen. amen. Father God, we come before you, Lord God. Father, we thank you, Lord God. We thank you, Lord God. We give you praise, Lord God. Father, we thank you for this word, Lord God. Oh, Lord God, I pray for myself, Lord God, and the rest of us, Lord God. We pray, my God, we will cast out fear, Lord God. That you will help us, Lord God, to cast out fear, Lord God, and give us, Lord God, that boldness, Lord God, for you, Lord God, to stand up, Lord God, for what is right, Lord God. Help us, Lord God, to step out, Lord God, and to trust you, Lord God, for stepping out, Lord God. I pray, my God, we cast out fear, Lord God, and we take on that boldness, Lord God, through perfect love, Lord God. I pray, my God, you give us that perfect love, Lord God. Oh, you give us faith over fear, Lord God. And you give us boldness, Lord God. To stand up, Lord God, for what is God in you, Lord God. And we will not stand up, Lord God, for the word, Lord God, but we will stand up for you, Lord God. We thank you, Lord God. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. 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 amen.